Scientists today are gonna draw a kid hugging the earth. Yeah, this is a fun drawing to celebrate Earth Day. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need something to draw with. We're actually gonna use markers, but also pencils. You also need some paper and... Something to color with. All right, let's start. We're first gonna use our pencils to draw a circle for the earth. And I'm gonna draw a really big circle. It's gonna take up a lot of the paper. And I'm gonna press harder. I'm gonna go back over it so our, our friends at home, you guys can draw lightly with a pencil so that it's easier to erase. Perfect, good job. That was a great circle. Now we're gonna switch to our markers and we're gonna first draw the arms hanging onto the earth or hugging the earth. Okay. First, let's draw a diagonal line that comes down on the left and we're gonna match everything on the right side also. So both hands are coming around. Then we're gonna draw an upside down little U for the thumb on the left and also on the right. Then we can draw a big sideways U or a backward C <laughs> for the fingers. Then we're gonna continue drawing that line for the arm. It's gonna come outside the circle and then come around and then connect back into the earth. Then let's do the same thing on the right side. We'll draw a big sideways U or a C shape. Then we're gonna continue drawing that around and then connect back into the earth. Then let's draw two finger lines on each hand. We'll draw two little curves for the fingers. And we'll draw two over here on this hand also. Now let's switch back to our pencils for the eraser. And we're gonna erase just this little piece of the earth right here on the arm. Yeah, and then we're gonna repeat that same step over here. We're gonna erase the earth line so that there's overlapping. The arm is in front of the earth. Then we can brush those shavings off to the side. <laughs> and let's switch back to our marker. And we're gonna draw, trace over the pencil. So we can first draw the top of the earth I'm gonna go over the pencil, connect over to the other side, the other arm on the other side. Yeah. Almost there. Keep going and connect. Then we're gonna draw the bottom of the earth. Just go over the pencil all the way over. And you and did it. <laughs> Now, if we want, we can also go back over and erase the rest, rest of the pencil lines. Let's draw a face on the earth so that it looks happy. Hmm. We're gonna draw, I'd be happy too if I was getting a big giant hug. <laughs> I'll draw a little smile right in the middle. And then let's turn it into a jelly bean shape so that he's, the earth is really happy. Oh, that's awesome. And then we can draw a tongue. We'll draw an upside down U. And then let's also draw teeny little eyes. I'm gonna draw a circle here on the left and also over here on the right. <laughs> let's color in the eyes and also the top shape on the jelly bean. Okay. Next, let's draw wiggly lines for the land on the earth. I'm gonna start here and it's okay if it doesn't look like actual continents. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna draw a wiggly line to the hand. We'll imagine it going behind the hand and then coming out the bottom and then connecting to the side of the earth. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> now let's draw the same thing on the other side, except it can be different wiggles. I'm gonna draw one that connects to the hand. You can imagine it going behind the hand again and then popping out the bottom and connecting to the side. What should we draw next? The person's head. Okay, yeah, let's do that. We're gonna draw a big circle and we're gonna draw part of it behind the earth. So we're only gonna draw part of the circle coming up and around. Yeah, good job. Then we, let's draw the same kind of mouth that we drew for the earth. I'm gonna draw a little smile in the middle and then we can turn it into a big jelly bean. <laughs> and then let's draw another uh, tongue down at the bottom. And then also eyes. We're gonna draw a little circle on each side. Okay, let's 
Fast forward again and color in the eyes and also the mouth. Okay. Now you guys, if you need extra time, remember to pause the video. Next, let's draw their ears. We're gonna draw the letter C and a backward C. And they look bald, so let's give them hair. Yeah. Okay. They look uh, like one of the planets. <laughs> it does, it looks like the moon. <laughs> Okay, let's give them hair. I'm gonna start here on the left and I'm gonna draw a curve that comes up and connects to the, you could do the same thing even though you're drawing a girl and then you could also add a ponytail on the top of her ah. head. I'm gonna draw another curve that comes down on the other side. Yeah, do you wanna draw, you could draw a little rainbow line right there for the scrunchie. Yes, and then you could draw an S curve that comes up like this, back down and then curl at the end. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, just like that. And then, <laughs> and then you could draw, uh, you could leave it just like, <laughs> or you could draw the bottom of the ponytail that comes down. <laughs> Either way is perfect. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> now let's draw their legs sticking out the bottom. Let's give them shorts. I'm gonna draw two lines. It looks like the planet's feet. Oh yeah, <laughs> it kind of does. <laughs> Then let's draw a line that comes out to the side and then connect back up. That's for the bottom of the shorts. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. Okay, now let's draw the legs. I'm gonna draw longer lines coming out of the shorts. And now let's draw a shorter line for the other side of the leg on each side. Yeah, and then we can draw the front of the foot. I'm gonna draw a big curve that comes out and down on both sides. And then let's draw the bottom of their foot. We'll draw a curve to connect the front to the back. Yeah. Now we could draw shoes or sandals. What should we draw? Um, sandals. Sandals, okay. We could draw, <laughs> we can draw two more lines coming down for the bottom of the sandal and then connect the bottom. And then let's do the same thing over here the bottom of the shoe or the sandal. <laughs> and then for the sandal, let's draw two curves going over the top of the foot and two over here on this one, two. We did it, we finished drawing our person hugging the earth. It's perfect, except we still need to do one more thing. Color it. Yeah, we need to color it. This is my favorite part. And we are gonna fast forward again. So remember you can pause the video to match the same color. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Hadley, give me five. You did such a great job on coloring your drawing. Did you have fun? Yeah. <laughs> you promise? Yes. <laughs> what do we use to color our drawings? Markers. Yeah, markers. But you could use whatever you have at home. You can use crayons or colored pencils or even... Oil pastels. Yeah, you could use oil pastels or, or even paint. Oh yeah. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing with us. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we hope you have a happy Earth Day. Mm -hmm. We love you guys and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.